being a black folks and Merry Christmas and I wasn't really going to make anything but uh, I was upset that somebody's messing around with Dutch's uh, Java because anyway his video didn't play very good but he found a real good find of as you can see right now I'm going to zoom in you can see the date and the time and he caught it from the 22nd I'll go to the video I've got that uploaded of what he caught on Sechi and thanks a lot Dutch and Merry Christmas Dutch and Dutch Princess Duchess uh, we got uh, his wife. Anyway, a couple eyesers. Here we go, and we're going to zoom in because we got Lovejoy going away. And as we know before, the tail was leading. Okay, and then there's a planet near Venus that has an electrical static, okay, like Earth has here, and that we always know that active planets like Jupiter has, and also. So at an angle, because the other H1 shot that he got the video from is an angle and it looks a little bit more over here. So something between Earth and Jupiter around here reversed the tail of Lovejoy around. And it basically is a triangulation we have seen by, if you go ahead and watch my video of, let me freeze it to make sure I state the right video. And just let me scoot this down so you know that we're showing you the right thing. This is H12A. Okay, and I'll show you what the video that, and they don't like this because we're showing you what's going on. And also, I'll show you something from the New York Times off of a video I made. Uh, so, folks, just sharing this, and I'm sure it's just a coincidence, but let's show you what happened on New York Times. I just, I just showed you that there. Okay, there's a date and today. Now, this is electronic. It's on the Internet, correct? And I don't go for any of the advertising that's on here, but I ain't got time to block it out. I want to show you something real fast. This about Saturn ended up showing up okay don't know who or where they got this from the file footage that they had maybe or maybe someone decided to hey let the New York Times get a hold of this and splurge this okay but what it comes from is they and they show water in a bucket okay yeah you swirl everybody knows you swirl something around in something water you swirl water around in anything and it's gonna make a shape like that right okay so then what they're trying to tell us is that Saturn's full of water then okay whatever it's boiling hot water then or something all right, so maybe not or whatever, but that is an actual picture colored from, and you can go ahead and go to the New York Times and read their article from the 25th, okay, electronically on the Internet, and whether it's in the paper, I'm not sure, okay. So, but it came from, watch my video that I did on the 24th, and I have take no money for my videos, folks, so I bleed you the truth, okay. So I made a video on the 24th of the top of uh, Saturn, and I also showed one of the moons because basically it's a moon and there's way more than the amount of moons. There's like at least 13 moons or something like that on Saturn. So there's more moons there than they tell you. So and also watch this because I show you the meatball behind Earth that's close. And also uh, Lovejoy action I was showing you here. And I was going to get to showing you, and I've even made mention in my earlier videos, I was going to show you, I have an electrical theory about the idea and basically it's somewhat bleeding out because the truth of it going by the magnetism of the top and bottom of a, of a planet that's between us and Jupiter. Uh, so you can go to, woof, you need to watch all these recent videos and then go back and watch also anything I've made before. When you get time, just work only 15 minutes a piece. It, it adds up to a lot of time, but take time to look at this stuff, okay? These are shots that were basically taken December 22nd, okay? Up by the, by the sun, okay? I see all that light energy going by. Okay, so really go check all these out. I go down to Nehemiah. I check out all kinds of stuff in the sky, uh, space, and just what's going on. And also, there has been an Earth. Uh, they're saying a storm. I was talking to a gal from the Philippines, Nighty. There, what three days ago they did get some kind of. I say it's a tsunami because basically the British paper said it was a tsunami. Uh, so check out all my videos because I bleed the truth as much as I can. Okay, about as much as we can on stuff. Okay, and. The British newspapers talked about a tsunami in the Philippines, and she on the phone said it was South Philippines, and IE politically correct over there is to say that there was a storm, a big bad storm down there. Well, 684 people are dead, folks. So they had possibly had a tsunami off one of the earthquakes or a volcano action or something, or IE the politically correct that they're saying down there because she heard about it in a cab three days ago, and it was a big bad storm in the southern part of the Philippines, okay? So do tell. Okay, so I went to the wrong one. It's it's H1 uh, B is where uh, Dutch got it from, and I'm going to go to that in a second. But I thought I'd just go ahead and let you see this from uh, from the from uh, 
H1A real fast. So look at all the CME that the sun's putting off, folks. And like we've said in the past, we know Mercury's caught on fire before. And check this out, okay? So any gas state that's going to get that heat and that flame is going to end up catching on fire. And see, Jupiter's getting pretty damn hot right now, too. So in the past, that redness might have been from the water heating up that much on Jupiter. So Jupiter maybe got a shit little water. But then it's got to have a landmass somewhere, especially if it would dry up from all this. Because this is flames off the sun, folks, okay? That is Mercury and Jupiter off H1A being seen. So the sun has and is getting his ass kicked right now in the supergiants big time, folks. Because this is bigger flaring than what we've seen in the past. We've seen a flare pretty close to Mercury when Mercury is a lot closer to the sun. I think this Mercury is moving away from the sun right now. You can see how massively the sun is flaring off right now, okay? This is massive, okay? So, so this is early in the video. I only got five minutes in, so I'll probably have enough time to go ahead and upload B. Let me blow this up a little bit more so you can see. And just realize how big the sun is and then how far much... Go check the distances out between Mercury and Jupiter, and you'll see how far... Look at that gigantic fireball, folks. These are the biggest flames you're ever going to see in your life, okay? Unless you space travel in the future and you see the supergiants or another sun getting its ass kicked and dying like our sun possibly might be i'm not i don't want to say be doom and gloom and say that the sun's dying but it's getting its ass kicked up there in the super giants ladies and gentlemen not just by comets but by the super giants four to 78 times the size of the sun is up there folks so i'm all the way to the right as much as i can can as you can see on the video there so this is the video of ours so you can see that i'm trying to get as close as i can to see the sun but check those flames out folks just impressive mass of action okay now watch these electronic statics that mercury has and other planets that have static like um, uh, earth has okay okay and look at jupiter jupiter is humongous folks jupiter is bigger than the sun ladies and gentlemen okay so this proves even more that all this action is coming from the super giants ladies and gentlemen do you realize that jupiter is not okay I, I'm, I'm wrong on saying it's bigger than the sun but it's the next biggest thing we have to the sun okay so realize how massive these flames that are coming off the sun, folks. And the supergiants, because the sun's in there dancing around with the supergiants. Four to 78 times the size of the sun. Massive flames, ladies and gentlemen. Check that out. That is wild. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the other shots so we can see what we're seeing on Lovejoy. Okay, folks, this is kind of astonishing because basically this kind of makes us show light that the idea that maybe Mercury is on fire okay because it's a different angle and the idea of burning things we already see how burning and i already seen how lovejoy's tail was going backwards as it left it was very unusual like the back part of the tail was going forward as it left okay this is going ahead this clock will always stay ahead on this shot and here's action from the sun it's flaring away like crazy and you've seen what we've seen on the other shot okay and then look what mercury looks like here and we know mercury's about this size right here back here on the back side of this but that looks like a flame there Mercury's not that big, folks, and you can see from it from the size of looking at the sun, okay? Mercury's not that big. So there's a good chance that Mercury could be one portion of it burning, and that's like what we said before, like I tried to say in the past, is like, and so the jury's still out, folks. Mercury might still be burning right now, and it's not a surprise. We pretty much know that Mercury's caught on fire before, okay? It's so close to the sun, okay, whenever it's flared. So this is astonishing here to catch this on this shot, okay? Catch, when we got Dutch, what he caught, what I'm starting to worry about is the idea that they have gotten... You know, they've made his player play bad, at least when I was playing on my Java to play his video. And maybe they've confiscated that footage. I'm going to try to find it. Okay, I'm going to try to catch this on H12A uh, fresh on the video. See if I can find a video on it. But I found this. This is the still, you know. Like I said, we showed you right off the beginning of the video, the idea that, you know. And they do have this wrong. That's not Mars in the hole there. That should be Mercury over there. Okay, that should not be Mars. If it is, then Mars and Mercury ain't that far apart. And Mars, I guess, is basically a lot closer to the sun than what we think. Okay? Because Mercury is the one that's getting the flame right now. And also, if they're saying that's Jupiter, then where the heck is Jupiter getting that gigantic flame? The sun is shooting that humongous of flames out, folks. And if it's shooting that humongous, then I'm backwards on knowing where the sun's at. Because the sun, Jupiter's on the backside of Earth right now. The sun's supposed to be over here. This should be the sun that's getting filtered out here. So I know that they got this wrong on that being Mars. Okay, but if we're getting Mercury and Jupiter getting those flames, those are humongous CMEs that are going through space, folks. Humongous CMEs are going through space. 
I forgot about going to Sechi for so long to be able to bring this, and they got these videos up all the time. So humongous clusters that we have out here, folks, and this is the 22nd, and I'll try to get the 23rd. I can bring up the, the, the most recent. But I'm trying to get the H1B that he got a hold of that showed what he showed. I might have to just steal it off his. He's got standard YouTube, so I apologize, Dutch, if I take the idea at all. You'll also see how bad your player's playing. At least at my eyesight, when I was trying to play it. So, and you can see what uh, this large object here, folks, that's got this triangulation that goes around into these planets that are going around it that's real close to Earth right now. That's not the moon, folks, that you see up here. This that's right up behind. Okay, see that's up behind Earth there. That's not the moon, folks. And it's got four planets right around it. Bang, 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 and bang. Okay. That's what I showed you in the last couple of videos, last three or four videos, okay? So that's a good movie shot of it. And you'll see the time at just a very short lapse that they show us there. Okay? A few hours. Okay? So let me get out of here and get another video. Okay, I'm not sure if this is the same picture I showed you in the last couple of videos, but that's what I was noticing before is the head turned around, okay? And maybe that's where Dutch caught too, who knows? Dutch probably let us you know. But he did catch that video where it splits up and we do know from watching uh, the video that I showed you that when it was going into the Sun that we could see another triangulation planet about like the size of like that there or maybe even like with this or this okay was in a triangulation moving along with it and then we've seen this tail was was leading out and you can see now that it's turned around because it went by the magnetic of a planet and it could be these two planets here or another planet that's over here that it went by its magnetic field and then it's straightened out, okay? And went and turned around and it's got its head going normal motion that you would see it coming towards the sun, okay? Because before, the tail was going forward, okay? Because it was fit, he headed out. So, and you can see the sun flaring like a son of a buck. And I got mixed up with looking at Jupiter and Venus, folks. Mixed Venus up with Jupiter. But you can see the flares coming out that much that Venus could almost be getting hot. But I think that was Jupiter we've seen before, so you can see how wide these shots are of space. So I'm just, I guess, subbing or whatever you call it. I don't know what to call this. I'm just basically promoting Dutch here and basically go watch him because basically he caught this, okay? Now, I don't know if this player will glitch this time as it's playing through. Okay, folks, and then you have to see what doesn't get seen on that because here I'm going to show you a video of... Uh, a still, there's a still image, folks, of the same stuff in the area that he was looking at. And there you go. Okay, he was showing you that video, but also look what they what they end up not letting you see. Check that humongous. What the hell is that, ladies and gentlemen? Now this we have seen this. I've had other people that have gotten these old Soho shots of the humongous objects by the sun. This is a super giant, more than likely, folks. Okay. And that's what these people in the past have always end up seeing, these humongous objects, okay? Four to 78 times the size of the sun, okay? There's dead ones, folks, that aren't bright anymore, okay? That aren't burning. Check that out. Free real estate, folks. <laughs> Buy yourself a spaceship. Look at that size of that damn thing. Mars there and Venus is looks like a na looks like a fly, folks. Check that out. So I cut out what I was vi videotaping there of Dutch's video, but he does show you this right here. Check this hole out here, okay? And then we end up seeing in this still shot of what he shows you in his video that doesn't play very good. They don't really want you to see it, okay? The comet has retriangulated itself, but this freeze shot, and I can even up this a little bit in size. Okay, folks, so I up it in size a little bit so you can see a little bit more, but you can pretty much see it right there, okay? So it changes its flare around in the flame as it goes by a magnetic. So watch that video on Dutch's channel, and then the idea that you will not see this here, that we see in this still, this humongous planet. So i got to back back out on size here for you to see this and understand that again. So let me go down to, what, I'll go to 200%, I think, or I'll go to 100%. So there you go, and then I'll bring you back up so you realize that that planet is actually there. Humongous, ladies and gentlemen, okay? I'm wondering if it's that one that's, uh, but it shouldn't be. There's actually a planet that's 700 and, what is it, 747 so times the size of the sun, okay? That's something like, I showed you that stats a while back, so there's humongous objects out there, folks. And Earth, we are hiding out. We are a rabbit hiding in a hole. We are very small. Okay, and Comet Lovejoy was humongous, and yes, old Hale-Bopp and a lot of the, the comets that have came by 
they were humongous. That's why we, they didn't, NASA didn't show up. More mind-blowing later.